Hi, my name is Kanika. I'm from the sales team here to present you Waterfall Residences and give you the tour as well. So this is the history wall of Krishna Group and Sumitomo Corporation. Krishna Group are the manufacturers of automotive spare SKH metal parts components which are likely to be found in the car seats, rear view mirrors, theatre seats as well. So from 25 years, 21 joint ventures have been going on up until now successfully and smoothly running across the globe. Sumitomo Corporation, their ancestors are monks, they started their journey with the museums, then they stepped into the copper and mining industry. So to this very date in Japan, Sumitomo Corporation are known as King of Coppers. Reason why being, because no metalwork has gone untouched by Sumitomo Corporation in Japan. Then in 1900, where they started doing the development in the real estate. So till now, not just only in residential but commercial, Sumitomo Corporation has delivered over 300 plus projects in across US, Japan and China. Now these are the major projects as you can see that they have already delivered till now. Sumitomo Corporation, it's a 400 year old legacy Fortune 500 company. Now the Kusumi Corporation has been formed. So as you can see, four major leaders of the world, Tata Projects, Krishna Group, Sumitomo Corporation and the Nikin Seki are just coming together to give you not just a Krishnami city but a Krishnami Corporation. As you can see, this entire landscaping will be done by the Nikin Seki firm which is the architecture and the designing firm for the waterfall residences. They are not just doing the uh, architecture and designing for the residences but they are going to do the entire 72% of the green landscaping that you can see around here and the outskirts of the waterfall residences as well. So we have just done 28% of construction as you can see it in here and rest 72% will be the green landscaping. In here there will be jogging park tracks, open sitting areas and cabanas as well. We'll have half-size Olympic pool for the adults and kids pool as well. This will be your waterfall taki. So the traffic circulation also will be going to be here is one way. So this will be the exit from the basement and your one way traffic will be circulated like that. Now that's elevation tennis court that you can see it right here. Underneath to that we have actually given the guest parking facility as well which is going to be covered. So now as I said you will have 36,000 square feet of clubhouse that you can see right here. So your clubhouse is going to be connected with all the three towers. So the entrance of your clubhouse will be from here. So this is the open cafe area with the lobby here as well. On the first floor you'll have fine dining alfresco restaurant along with the bar. Then you'll have zen garden on top of it as well for the yoga and meditation. So right in here, your tower A will be upon this and your tower B will be upon this side. So tower A and B as I said will going to have same lobby which is 16 feet tall double heighted. So the entrance of the tower A and B will be from here. Now this area will be of your four passenger lifts. This will be the service lift and the shuttle lifts which operates from parking to ground. Again from tower B, this will be the passenger lift, service lift and shuttle lifts. So across the passenger lifts that you are seeing right here of tower A, you will have theater. And ahead of the tower B passenger lift, you will have squash court. Behind the tower B passenger lifts, you will have sauna, spa and salon along with gymnasium as well. So this area that you are seeing is going to be your business center. Now, in the medical facilities provision also for that we have already proposed a plan wherein we need a medical facility in here inside the clubhouse only. So in the vicinity whichever the hospital is going to be, we are going to tie up with them by keeping 24-7 working doctor and a nurse inside the clubhouse with the station ambulance as well. As you move forward here, so this area will be your banquets. So now this will be the area of your tower C. So that's your tower C's triple heighted 31 feet tall lobby and next to it that's going to be your dry garden. These two areas that you're seeing is going to be your indoor board activity games area wherein you can play chess, billiards, caroms and pools etc. Now behind that you'll see the conventional grocery store which will be in-house inbuilt itself. That's your tower C's passenger lift service and shuttle lifts. This area that you're seeing is going to be the indoor and outdoor activity area for the kids. Behind that, you'll have a library as well. And behind that, you'll have refreshment corner as well, a concept similar to a cafe or a non-alcoholic place. Now, coming here, now we're gonna have basement as well in here. 
So in there, there are going to be two levels. Apart from the parking slots as well, we're giving you certain amenities as well that you can avail from there, starting with your laundromat services, then car washing services. For hybrid cars, if they're going to be development in here, we're gonna have electricity car charging stations assigned as well in there. Along with that, there's going to be a common area in which there's going to be a driver's waiting lounge area along with the couch. And for the servants and the drivers, there's going to be a washing changing locker amenity as well along with the shower cubicles as well. So as you can see, that is our waterfall residential is being constructed. So the tallest tower that you're seeing right now is our Tower C. And right next to it, that will be the shortest tower that is getting constructed, Tower B. Now behind Tower C, you have Tower A which is joined with Tower B. So basically Tower A and B are joined together and the Tower C will be your standalone iconic tower. So Tower A has 24 floors, Tower B will be of 27 floors and Tower C will have 34 floors as well. On top of each tower, we're giving you four penthouses each which will be duplex. As I was saying, Tata projects are doing the construction. So the construction technology will be my one in which there will be more work of concrete and less work of brick. So now you get a first benefit of anti-seepage and leakage as well. Now the piping technology also that is going to be there will be of polypropylene piping technology, which again, again gives you the benefit of anti-seepage and leakage as well. As I said, you'll have seven quality certificates on a written document. So the polypropylene piping technology we're giving you will have the quality certificate with the warranty of five years as well. So we have three towers in which we are giving you seven high speed elevators each, which becomes a total of 21 elevators. Now I am going to bifurcate those seven elevators out of which four passenger lifts are going to be operating from ground to top. So the area that you're seeing right now are your sample of passenger lifts. So these wooden work, the lighting and the metal fixtures work you're seeing is going to be the exact replica of your passenger lifts in the all the three towers. Not only this, the entire lobby areas are going to be air conditioned. Moving forward from here, you're gonna see the interior of the passenger lifts, which we will be just showing you right now. Now the speed of your passenger lift is going to be 3 meter per second and the maximum waiting time of your passenger lift is going to be from 25, 27 seconds to 35 seconds. Apartment of the category 3 LDK plus S. Basically, we have three types of categories in all the three towers. 2 LDK, 3 LDK and 3 LDK plus S. The LDK terminology is a luxury terminology which means living, dining and kitchen. Now, the 3 plus S category that is going to be in which plus S is going to be your study, store or servant room that you need to select it before the booking. Now, as we move forward from here, this is the entrance of your apartment. The door at the entrance you are going to be seeing is going to be made out of vinyl wood which has the fire capacity up to 2 hours. So this area is actually going to be your living dining in area in which we are giving you engineered wooden floorings and in your bedrooms the wooden floorings are going to be of laminated. All this panel work that you are going to be seeing around you in the entire apartment is just to for the showcase of the beautification of the entire luxury apartment. Now, in your living and dining areas, we're gonna give you air conditioning, centralized air duct. In your bedrooms, the air conditioning are going to be like wall mounted. From here, I'm gonna show you the balcony of the apartment. So this is your one long running 52 feet of balcony which has the access of each and every bedroom and your living room as well. Now in here we are following a straight line architecture in which no two apartment is going to face each other. So you get a benefit of having privacy completely protected. So now all the three towers are gonna have a view of these attributes of the green that you are seeing right now or the waterfall view or the pool view. Now this is SS railing steelwork done in here with granite on the flooring. Anti-slippery tiles are going to be placed in here as well. The glass doors of your house are going to be made out of aluminium, which are going to be partially soundproof as well and no UPVC work will be there as well. 
So we are giving you modular kitchens in which we are giving the countertop of granite leather finished along with the lower cabinets, upper cabinets, chimney, your hob station and your washing sink is going to be there. Now, what not going to be there is that we are not providing you electrical goods starting with your dishwasher, oven and microwave and your refrigerator. Now we are going to show you the utility balcony area where the actual servant is going to enter from to their room. So this will be your utility balcony area. Your washing area will be right in here. Now there is an S option as I have already said. So in here the servant is actually through the main door from the kitchen and through the utility balcony area which has the entrance of the servant. Now in here you are going to have a predefined inventory system in which you get a you know, uh, choice of selecting your kitchen either to be open or to be closed. In your bedrooms, you get an option to choose from that you need one bedroom to be a TV lounge or want to leave it as a bedroom only. So in your TV lounge, this is how the room going to look like as. Now in here, we have also done the paneling work as well, which might give you a smaller look. But once that goes away, once you get your apartment, so it's going to look like slightly bigger. As we move forward from here, So this is going to be your S room where you can select either study which is looking right now or store room. So in your store room there will be a door installed in here with a connecting wall up until here. In your servant room now there is going to be entire wall in here and with a door at the back where the servant is going to have the entrance from the kitchen to the utility balcony. So your store room now is going to look like this. Your servant room is going to look like this. As we move it from here, so this is going to be the second bedroom. So we have same size as the first bedroom 11 by 12 and the second bedroom size by 11 by 12. The difference will be that in this bedroom we are giving you an attached washroom. Now in your washroom you are going to have countertop like such of granite with CP fittings of Toto and Grohe. If you go for the storages, this is how the storages are gonna look like as. So this will be the powder washroom area or the first washroom of the first bedroom as well. If you come here, this is your master bedroom. So this is your master bedroom with the size of 12 and a half by 15 and a half. Now there are going to be three wardrobe spaces provided to you as well in the master bedroom. One is going to be here. This is our wardrobe sample which I am going to show you. So the space will be there but if you go for a wardrobe from our side this is how it's going to look like such. Now another space for your wardrobe is going to be here as well. So again this panel that you are seeing right now instead of this there is going to be a space for a wardrobe as well and right over that as well. This area that you are seeing is going to be open to sky with an indoor install in here. That's your master bedroom's restroom. As I was telling you, all your bedrooms are going to be well connected with all the bedrooms of yours that you can see right now. Now, we are giving you 7 quality certificates on a written document starting with your wooden floorings, 
with your external paint of your balcony and utility balcony then all your plug points switches and your door handles lockers and even your glass doors and your windows now in here we're giving you quality certificates with the warranty of 5 years from the date of issue so these are the two color scheme options that upon the booking that you will be getting it so as the floor preferences that you say that you need the apartment on an even number of floor so the color scheme on in the interior theme of your apartment will be like this gray now if you go for an odd number of floor that you need the apartment on the color scheme and interior theme of your apartment will be beige like this so this is our location map where i'm going to show you how the connectivity will work with your waterfall residences this is the sector 36a in which krisumi has the 65 acres of land that you're seeing it right here so this is your waterfall residences which will be your 5.4 acres of land now this across the project you have 220 acres of green zone that you're seeing around here in which we have proposed that you want to have a golf course in here if that does not goes ahead as per the gurgaon master plan 2031 this green zone that you're seeing is going to remain as forever green only as per the gurgaon manifesto 2031 master plan as well this gray area that you're seeing is going to be ilsbt terminals this is the sector 84 where this is the commercial belt for elan miracle which will be here and it is getting constructed as well this is sector 83 in which you can see this commercial belt for the m3m now that's the sector 88 which is going to be known as the biggest commercial hub so all of this lit up areas that you're seeing are the connectivity of your highways so this is your dwarka expressway this is your central periphery road highway this is your nh highway which is leading you towards manasar and jaipur from the toll plaza this is your southern periphery road highway which connects you further towards faridabad bachapur now as you can see we have two junctions in the middle right in here this will be your trumpet junction which gives you the connectivity from dwarka expressway to the central periphery road which later connects you towards the cloverleaf junction which gives you the connectivity towards manasar jaipur or nh8 which is leading you towards delhi or the southern periphery road again where it's going to lead you from faridabad bachapur now in the future if you're going to visit waterfall residences if you're coming from the delhi and if you take the nh8 highway once this cloverleaf junction is going to get constructed so your entrances will be going to be like this you're going to enter on this pull now this is your entrance to your waterfall residences now again if you're coming from delhi and you've taken the dwarka expressway highway so from there you're going to enter through this path and from here you're having this entrance from the waterfall residences so the distance from the nh8 after crossing the cloverleaf junction you're going to have 1.8 kilometers of distance to nh8 and coming from dwarka expressway through the trumpet junction your distance are going to be 1.4 kilometers from waterfall residences so all this yellow lit up areas that you're seeing are going to be your metro connectivity as well So the lobby that you are seeing right now is the actual replica of your tower A and B lobby, and the dry garden that you will be seeing right now is the actual dry garden which will be right next to the tower C triple heighted lobby. Now I'm going to take you towards the tower C triple heighted lobby. So this is your travel sees triple heighted 31 feet tall lobby that you are seeing right now.